Anyway, uh, this guy's very funny. He's a really good comic friend of mine. Everybody keep it going for Mark Roba! Hey guys, keep it going for Dan Curry, please. Four microphones. Which one should I use? Is there a fucking... Is there a ska band playing later or something? What the fuck? <laughs> They're better. So guys, if I can be serious real quick, we all know why we're here. Um, Hang on. Tom Slobinski is moving to LA. And uh, when I got a text at six six o'clock that reminded me that I agreed to do this, I was so proud to come out and be a part of this. I met Tom right here at Max Bar doing open mics a couple years ago, and I had a feeling this dude was so fucking funny. And I swear to God, I said this to my buddy. I was like, you know, assuming he doesn't get misdirected by doing silly rap songs, he's probably gonna go places. But no, for real though, I met Tom Stavinsky and we hung out a lot and I liked his attitude, I liked his mentality. A lot of people are the glasses half full kind of people. A lot of people are the glasses half empty type of people. Tom's the kind of guy that says, um, is there any way I can get this filled with gravy? I had cancer last year and uh, Tom Stavinsky came out to my cancer benefit. That's not a joke, that's really fucked up. Yeah, Tom Stavinsky took time out of his schedule to come to my cancer benefit. We raised some money, and I'll never forget when I asked him. I said, "Tom, um, you know, I don't have any insurance. It's really scary. I've got, uh, I've got Hodgkin's lymphoma, and um, you know, I, I wondered if you might want to come out and help me maybe try to raise some funds." And I'll never forget what he said. He looked me in the eye and said, uh, "How much am I getting paid for this shit show?" I'm happy to report that I'm cancer-free these days, and it's great for two reasons. Whatever. That's more than anyone has clapped for Tom all night. But it's great for two reasons. One is a newfound perspective on life, and second is I can now say I've had bone marrow biopsies that are funnier than Tom Slavinsky. I remember when, uh, when Tom first called me and said he was moving to LA, I remember what I said to him. I said, uh, who the fuck gave you my number, Tom? <laughs> After I was like, okay, no, that's fine. What are you moving to LA? And I said, oh, it makes sense, Tom. That really makes sense. There's a lot of talented people out there in LA. You're gonna make them look great. <laughs> but no, Tom, for real, I can be serious. A lot of people. I've heard a lot of people. Some of them are here tonight saying, uh, you know, Tom, he shouldn't be going to LA. Yet. It's too soon in his career. Or he's not talented. He's not funny. And I stand by those things I've been saying. <laughs> You guys, Tom Stavinsky's so ugly, he puts a bag on his head when he jacks off. <laughs> so no, I'm, glad, I'm glad Tom Stavinsky's moving to LA. Maybe I'll fucking get some pussy. Tom, quit fucking my girlfriend, please. No, I'm worried, though, because a lot of beautiful people go to LA, and now Tom's going to LA. Like, how is Tom going to get laid outside of Denny going to visit him? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you though, Tom. I really am. I'm gonna miss uh, being at the comedy club, and maybe it's not a great night, maybe there's not a lot of people there, but I tell a joke and it kind of fizzles out in the crowd. But in the back, I can hear Tom Slavinsky cackling, and I'll know, well, they might not have appreciated it, but at least Tom Slavinsky is still talking amongst himself out there with his friends. It really makes you appreciate him. I'm really sorry, you guys, too, if I can be serious. I'm really sorry that I've made this all about Tom Slavinsky tonight. Um, any, anyone who's seen a flyer that he's ever made knows he hates being the center of attention. So I'm sorry for that, Tom. Not cool. Did you guys check anything out at the yard sale? I don't get anything from the yard sale. I actually, I haven't looked at it yet. I'm going to try this out on stage. I bought Tom's axe for $20. This just says rape Nazi Teen Wolf. What the fuck am I supposed to do this? <laughs> no, I'm gonna get out of here though, but but Tom really I was gonna try to write a rap that uh, summarized all the ways I feel about you. But I'm just not as talented as you. I can't do it. But no, I've told you this before, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Good luck out there, buddy. And of all the people I've met since I started doing comedy, you are definitely one of them. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a good night.